All right, everybody, this is Ziffy Brody, and I'm going to try to do a tutorial. It's been a long time, everybody. Um, I just learned something yesterday, and I thought I would pass on over here. Um, there's a step that in, my, in a lot of my videos that people are having problems with, so I'm going to try and cover that as well. You know how there's um, fabrics with wrinkles on them. We'll show you an example here to begin with. Um, there are some in here that were already made by my texture lady. They kind of look like that. They have wrinkles on them already made. Well, I just found out how to do that without um, buying them that way. So, and this is just all in GIMP. Um, rather than buying wrinkles, which you can do. This was how it was shown to me. This is blank document I'm in filters, render, cloud, solid noise. Now, you want to turn X all the way up, like I have here, and Y all the way down, like there. You want to change up your random seed. This changes the way it looks. And it just is random. I mean random. And I have it set to tileable. Because if you want more of a straight up and down sort of curtain, that's fine. But um, when I was trying to do just fabric, I, um, I found it easier to do, well, more useful for me to have a tileable texture which shows you know wrinkles like what's say on a skirt so uh, this would also make a tileable texture as long as you don't get funky on the edges so you say okay and then you've got this black and white wrinkle map now you can do two things with this you can either just color it um, I think, I'm not sure if this one will work or not, yeah, you can throw, um, colors on that, as it is, play with, uh, the color, um, adjust thing, and make your own fabric like that, or, like what I've been doing is making an overlay for regular fabric, which I took and did uh, color, and I wanted to brighten this up a lot before I did color to alpha, because this was really dark as these are really dark as an overlay has a lot of gray in it, so I was turning the brightness up on them and the contrast too, so that. It's just really folds and wrinkles and not a lot of just overall gray. Said like that. Say. And then I was going color to alpha. This is my favorite tool in GIMP and it's not in Photoshop or anything else. This is how I convert a lot of my um, shadow maps in mesh templates to be... Uh, sort of shadows and wrinkle maps because when you hit this everything that's white and because it's set to white being alpha goes alpha so now all you left is with the dark wrinkles so if you copy this guy here onto a piece of fabric say paste and you do, it is a floating selection. I'm going to say new layer. And it is now wrinkles on fabric. See, before, after. And if that's too dark, you can set the opacity of this layer down. And, but because I've already taken out a lot of the gray area, that didn't end up that dark. If you play with it and you don't take a lot of the gray out of there 
by um, changing the contrast then it will be a very dark layer and you will probably need to go down on this uh, opacity a lot otherwise your material say you made a skirt out of out of this material and then when you go to make the top out of the same material it's going to be so much darker than your than your skirt at the bottom another thing that I did another thing I did as an example if I can find it um pardon a sec okay I have found my file here this one I've done by hand um it was a really dark one and I've come in here with the eraser tool on a very light brush not this one um and I don't know one of these more softer brushes going on and I had the opacity turned oh way down to like I don't know way down and then just started erasing more of the fabric along those lines and making my own sort of custom little natural folds going on more so with it and it's more of an, a painterly approach to the idea but if you copy let me see if I copy this and then shove it on top of the fabric to show you what that one looks like it is like that which was more of a uh, bunched up looking fabric but um, because more of the of the light blue in the fabric is showing through it's going to match the top if you made a top out of this um, so you wanted to make sure that this light enough that it's going to match something else that you make out of the same fabric you'll end up with things that look like they they were not even this made out of the same fabric if you don't uh, lighten it up good enough just a word of advice on that now I hope that that helps somebody I don't really want to confuse anybody any worse there is a link to a guy who actually explained this to me um, in text on a page if I can find it I will put that in the link um, it's just basically the same thing I just said only without pictures except for you know and uh, very generic sounding um, but this is what you end up with as an overlay or you could you know directly make that into a fabric itself although I don't really think it looks that much like fabric some people know what they're doing though this is a small hint and I am by no means an expert everybody but anyway I hope that does um, help someone out there as always stay tuned Maybe I'll do some more.